This conference will now be recorded. All right. So yesterday what we have done, we have seen GL reports, certain GL tables related to transactions that we post in our company code. Now everybody is able to generate the reports using this report and using the table. Everybody understood right how to pull the data at least. The first point is to understand how to run a report. What is there inside the report? How to analyze the data from the report is a second step. But step number one is always to understand how to generate the report from the system. Once we are clear with this. Now I'll show you now how to create corrections of a document that is already posted. Okay, I'll say document corrections. When we talk about document corrections, you are talking about something went wrong in the transaction and you want to rectify this. Before we talk about corrections in the document, first we need to understand what is the correction that we normally require in a document which is already posted. Remember, once a document is posted, once a document is posted, we cannot Delete it. Okay, once the document is posted, it is not possible for us to delete the document. The only option available with you is to make the corrections in the document. What kind of a corrections can we make in a particular document is what we will understand. If there is something which you want to rectify, you want to correct, but from the document side, it is not possible for you to edit or correct. Then what you are going to do it. So next point, if we want to modify or correct any fields from a posted document, we have to edit or change the document. Okay, if you want to post so if you want to modify or change the document which is already posted it is not possible for us to change everything instead it is possible only to change certain fields now what are the fields that is possible for us to edit and what are the fields that is not possible for us to edit once the document is posted if a document is posted and you are able to edit the field you are proceeding further to edit the particular content if a document is posted but the particular field which you want to edit it is not available for you to edit what we will be doing we will not be able to edit the document instead you have to cancel the document okay instead you'll have to cancel the document not every field is editable or changeable after posting the document you will not be able to edit or change every field once your document is posted in such case if it is not possible to edit edit the document we have two options one is reclass and second one is reverse and repost assuming you posted something wrong in a document now you want to rectify this Option number one, you will see if that particular field where you where you feel that the incorrect information has been provided. You will go to the document on the change mode. You will check if you are able to change that particular field or not. If yes, you are able to change the field. You will be able to change the field. If you are unable to change the field, the only option left with you is either to reclass the document or to reverse and repost the document.
okay let's take an example i'll take one accounting entry i'll say bank outgoing debit i'll say capital credit for 30000 30000 assuming this is the entry that we are posting and after posting the entry you have decided certain information from this entry is given incorrect now normally what information can go wrong once you are posting a document you may give any information wrong before we understand which information can be given incorrect let me display a document fb03 to display the document i do not know what is the document number what i am going to do i want to see the list of documents from that list i am going to select which one to display for that click on document list give your company code straight away click on execute this is a warning message ignore by hitting enter on the keyboard only two documents are available let me select the first document double click on this to display okay this is the document which we are able to see after posting of a transaction currently i am on display mode you will see display document let me go to change mode for that you have to click on this display change switch click on this now we are on change document screen from this you need to click on header portion first click on document header from this document header only two fields are editable apart from these two the other fields are not editable first let's make a list of these two fields and then we will see which other fields are not editable and what we will do if something goes wrong in those non-editable field. So here I'll put header path, editable fields. You have reference and document header text if you see here document header text you are able to edit reference you are able to edit apart from these two fields no other field is editable which means once the entry is posted apart from this header text and reference none of the field can be editable or can be changed clear only these two fields we will be able to modify once the document is posted i'll close this similarly let me check the line item segment let me double click on any one line items i'll click on first from this line item only two fields are editable one is your assignment two is text i'll write this here from the line item part editable fields assignment and a text in short from the header you are able to change a reference and header text which is a free text field on the line item side you are able to change assignment and a text these two are again free text fields in short everywhere this is a free text you are free to write any narration any description that you want for a particular transaction if i am writing a free text on my transaction this is not going to affect anywhere on my financials this is not going to change my pnl figure balance sheet figure or whatever because this is just a narration which will not have any impact on your transaction right but what if there is a field which you want to edit or there is a field in which incorrect information is given and you have realized it after posting of a transaction how we are going to rectify these kind of a points there may be different different kind of errors different different kind of fields depending on the field depending on the error we have to decide whether to reclass or to reverse it is not that we can reclass the document in every situation 
you can reverse the document in every situation it depends on the kind of error that had happened in the document and how you want to rectify this for example so i'll put error fields error fields i'll say document date if i put incorrect document date in the transaction if i click on header part assuming that this is not 752023 this is actually 752022 now based on the document date there may be different analysis that you may be performing maybe you are calculating aging you are calculating a discount or you are calculating any other logics or any other dates considering a document date as your base date in case if your document date itself is wrong debit credit everything is correct but the document date that you have given is incorrect further whatever you are going to do considering this document date will be wrong because your base data which is document date is incorrect now in this scenario if i want to change document date from 7th may 2023 to 7th may 2022 it is not possible because we are not able to change the document date this is one of the common typo errors that your user will commit right now assuming this entry is posted with incorrect document date which option is recommended is this recommended to reclass the entry or is it recommended to reverse and repost the entry in case if you give incorrect document date reverse and repost reverse and right. repost you have to reverse and then repost so when you are planning to reverse a document how you are going to reverse a document right so that we will see shortly if your document date is wrong you will have to reverse and repost similarly if your posting date is wrong if my posting date is wrong instead of posting in april month let's say i posted in may month now this is again wrong i am not able to change my posting date so what i have to do i have to reverse or reclass reverse again you have to reverse the document in case if i put incorrect reference or incorrect header text do we need to make any reversal reclasses or we can directly edit the data directly edit you can edit the data right we can directly edit the data in case if you give incorrect information on document header text or in the reference column apart from this if you put incorrect dates incorrect company code it is not possible for us to edit it is not possible for us to reclass the only right approach the only correct op approach or option left with us is to reclass to reverse the document and then repost with correct parameters okay on the other side let's say if you have given incorrect posting key i have selected correctly but posting key is wrong when i say posting key is wrong instead of debiting i have credited a particular account so here can i reverse or reclass or both are possible the reverse so you have to reverse the document and then repost with correct posting key instead of debiting if you credited a particular account you need to reverse the entry and then you need to repost the entry by giving correct debit or credit indicator similarly if i give wrong gl account instead of hdfc main bank account i have given hdfc outgoing account in this case should i reverse it or i can reclass it reverse i can reverse it i can also reclass it because the total document is correct except the gl account instead of debiting one gl account you have debited another gl account okay in these kind of situations option number 1 you can reverse and then repost with correct parameters option number 2 instead of reversing the document what you are going to do you are going to do a transfer posting or reclassification entry whatever the account got debited incorrectly you are going to credit that account and you are going to debit the correct account which means
I'll say this is a, this is original entry. Okay, this is original entry. Next, I'll put array class entry. Assuming instead of bank main account, we have posted this to bank outgoing account. So problem is with this GL. Capital account is correct, but this GL account is what something went wrong. You are going to do a transfer posting from bank outgoing account to main account. So instead of debiting to bank main account, we have debited bank outgoing GL account. So first what you are going to do, you are going to debit to the correct account, which it is supposed to be debited. We were supposed to debit bank main account. I am going to write bank main debit and we have given incorrect debit to bank outgoing GL account. This incorrect debit, you have to remove it. To remove the incorrect debit, you'll have to put a credit so that debit credit becomes a zero. I am going to put bank outgoing credit. Now, if you see here in this reclassification entry, in this reclassification entry, the debit and credit within the bank account, you are just transferring or moving the balance from incorrect account to the correct account. If you see here, bank outgoing is credit here. Sorry, debit here, bank outgoing is credit here. The net impact of this bank outgoing GL account is zero. Correct? Huh? Net impact in this bank outgoing account is zero because you debited here, you credited here and debit credit will become zero. If you see this properly, your credit is there in capital account, debit is sitting in bank main account now. This is one option where your client does not want to reverse the document. Sometimes your users or your client will tell no, we do not want to reverse it for different reasons. Okay, they'll have different reasons why they do not want to reverse the entry. Without reversing the entry, if they want to adjust it, the only option left is to pass the reclassification address. This is your reclassification process in case if you want to reverse the entry. This is your reversal entry. When you pass the reversal entry, system is going to put the same original transaction only with the two changes. Debit will become credit credit will become debit otherwise no change in the document so bank outgoing and capital what it will do it will take capital debit and it will take bank outgoing credit okay this will take capital credit bank outgoing debit if you see here bank outgoing is debited when you are initially posting the entry but when you reverse it bank outgoing has become credit now in this account debit credit will become zero similarly on the capital account initially you posted a credit in this account but when you cancelled when you reversed it system posted a debit in this account now again the net impact will become zero because there is a debit there is a credit for the same account in the same account now, once you do a reversal, you need to do a repost and then reposting entry. If you're doing a reposting entry, we are assuming that we should have posted to bank main account, this one. So in your reposting entry, you are going to put bank main debit and capital credit. This will be your reposting entry. Are these entries clear? At the same logic, any reversal that you talk about in SAP, it is the same logic. Either you are going to reclassify the transaction or you are going to reverse and then repost the transaction. Only two options left. 
considering this accounting entry original accounting entry if you wanted to reclass is this clear in the reclass if so is the reclass is only for the wrong gls posted yes reclassification is only for the wrong gls posted or wrong account assignments used like your entry is correct but you have given wrong cost enter wrong profit center or wrong account assignment objects even in such cases you are going to reclass the entry because instead of debiting or instead of crediting to one profit center or the other cost center you debited incorrect one what you are going to do you are going to debit credit this same account but you are going to change the profit center okay your entry is correct but the other parameter is not correct so instead of reversing the entry you are going to rectify the other parameter by passing a reclassification entry within the particular account so could you please give an example for the profit center that we will post directly in the system okay sir. okay yes now this is about your reclassification entry when you do a reversal entry you are not going to pass a reversal entry manually system will pass the reversal entry automatically but for system to pass the reversal entry we need to tell which entry to be reversed if you tell the system this is my entry which needs to be reversed by looking at this entry system will understand okay debit is your bank account credit is capital account it will blindly put debit as credit credit as debit okay system will not do anything it will not check anything debit becomes credit 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 becomes debit when you are reversing the transaction when you are reposting the entry this is as simple as like your original entry you are again posting the entry you have to ensure you are giving the correct account assignments whatsoever while passing the original entry now let us see this practically on the system how we are going to rectify these kind of a problems i am going to pass this original entry for 30000 now slash n f dash 02 i'll take today's date 11 re class 01 okay i'm just giving this to understand why we are posting this entry 40 i'll take bank outgoing so which will be 11 all zeros one no not 11 all zeros one let's sort this gl account by clicking on this gl account the number will get sorted let me take this bank outgoing account hdfc bank outgoing 30000 profit center i'm not changing the profit center now i'll take one profit center credit i'll take capital put star same profit center some dot simulate this entry okay this is the original entry that we are passing we are debiting bank outgoing account we are crediting capital account let me post this now this entry is posted let me display the entry when i display the entry i have realized everything is correct in this entry except this gl account debit i should have used hdfc bank main account but instead i have used hdfc bank outgoing account now i if i want to rectify this now this is a problem for me i don't want to show this 30000 balance on my outgoing account instead i want to show this outgoing account balance in my main account 
I need to move the balance out from the outgoing account and I need to add this balance to my main account right problem is only with bank account problem is only with bank account because we have used incorrect GL account if you look at the other offsetting account which is your capital account there is no problem in this capital account account number is correct posting key is correct everything is correct the only problem from the transaction is your debit GL account option number one you can straight away reclass this entry when you are reclassing this entry you are moving the balance from HDFC check outgoing account to HDFC main account in that scenario you are only going to pass the bank GL accounts you are not going to touch capital account okay the offsetting of capital currently sitting in HDFC outgoing you are moving this from HDFC outgoing into HDFC main account for that you are going to pass a reclassification entry for this reclassification entry what I am going to do is I will open F-02 once again I will put the same date everything here in reference I am going to pass this original entry this original document number let me put class 011 I'll put reclass and then I'll give the GL sorry the original document number this is mandatory otherwise tomorrow the other person who is looking at this reclassification entry they have to understand why this entry was posted what was the original entry and why they did why they did this reclassification for somebody to understand we have to ensure we give the right input right description or narration on the transaction right now 40 should have been HDFC bank main account for HDFC bank main account it will be one two all zeros this one 12 all zeros is your HDFC main account let me hit enter okay now if you see on the debit side I am giving HDFC main account posting key is 40 now GL account is HDFC bank main account I am going to take the same amount 30,000 same profit center here I am going to pass reclassed to HDFC main from HDFC outgoing Okay, this is the document number let's say something like this you'll have to mention so that the other person who is looking at this document later on will understand okay this entry is reclassified from this original entry what they will do they will look at the original entry they will understand okay they posted to wrong GL account here then instead of reversing they moved the balance from this account to the other account but otherwise the other person may get confused why this entry is posted between the bank accounts why they credited outgoing account why they debited main account nobody will understand if you do not put certain comments or remarks on the transaction this is a must okay tomorrow your user might come to you asking you for how this entry was posted as a consultant you are not going to understand how this entry is posted that is not your work what you are going to do you are going to open the document you are going to check if any information is updated like this 
if any information is updated like this you are going to tell maybe this user had posted this entry for reclassifying amount from this account to this account you may try to convince or explain them this is what would have happened what if there is no information mentioned you're not going to answer you're not going to decide how this entry was posted who posted this all you can do is you will tell the user who posted this entry you will ask the particular business user to reach out to the user who posted the entry to find out the reason otherwise we will not be aware why the entry was reclassified the other user is also not able to identify unless unless the text or remarks are given properly clear i am debiting to the right account now next one i'll have to credit to the wrong account wrong account that was used is yeah sir uh, reclassification account nothing but rectification entry yes sir correct okay. now i am going to give credit to the gl account which is used incorrectly this gl account was used incorrectly on the debit side now i am using the same gl account on the credit side so that the same gl account will receive a debit will receive a credit before posting i'll show the report enter give the same amount profit center thus let's simulate this okay i'll put plus here so that text will get copied copy paste Okay, this is the entry we are going to pass. But before opening this entry, let's look at the report. FHLL03. Twelve all zeros, which is your bank main account. If you look at your bank main GL account, it is showing 8 lakh amount as of now. But according to our situation, according to our scenario, your bank main account should have 8 lakh 30 thousand. Correct? According to our scenario, our bank GL account should have got 8 lakh 30 thousand. But what we did, we did a mistake. Instead of debiting the main account, you have debited outgoing account. So your main account is unchanged the balance in your main account is not affecting so let me open one more report balance report faglb03 here also i'll put 12 all zeros execute if you look at this report Okay, if you look at this report, from the balance report in period number 5, you are able to see there is a debit balance of 8 lakh. There is no credit balance. The total account balance is 8 lakh. Even when you look at your line item report, you will see the different details of each transaction that is posted in this account. And you will also see the total of all the transactions, which is appearing here and here also. Basically, these are your subtotals. This is your main total. If I look at this, this is 8 lakh. On my balance also, it is showing 8 lakh. But if you are working in an organization, if you are the person who is working in treasury department or finance accounts department, you know that I have received a capital of 30,000 additionally. Now my bank account balance is supposed to be 8 lakh 30,000. You know the number. What you are going to do, you are going to look at the bank GL account either in this way or in this way or from the trial balance or from the balance sheet. Anywhere the same number is going to reflect. It is not going to change. The, if you are changing the report, number will not get changed. 
here you know that it is supposed to be 8 lakh 30 thousand but it is showing only 8 lakh i cannot interpret or i cannot imagine that somebody posted this entry but they used wrong account nobody is going to think in that way they are only going to see this gl account maybe so many times they will come back refresh they would have informed somebody to pass this entry they may be thinking that okay this user may be currently busy he will pass later on but you may be looking at this report to ensure if the entry is posted or not but user had already posted the entry but the user had used incorrect gl account the person who is supposed to verify the balance is not able to get the right number because of incorrect gl account usage after realizing what you are going to do you are going to pass a rectification entry when you pass the rectification entry this account balance debit should be 8 lakh 30 thousand this account closing balance should be 8 lakh 30 thousand correct this account closing balance is supposed to be 8 lakh 30 and if i take the other account which is your bank outgoing account ending with two this outgoing account is having 20,000 debit balance now your outgoing account is supposed to be always a credit balance because this is a payment related entry which is going out from your side your bank outgoing account is always contains or will always show the credit balance currently there is a debit balance in this the person who is looking at this account may think that why my outgoing account is showing a debit balance it is ideally supposed to show a credit balance but why is this showing a debit balance they will come inside and then check okay there is some debit entry for 30000 who posted this debit entry they do not know what they will do they will reach out to the person who posted this entry they will ask for the clarification they say that oh my mistake i posted the incorrect gl account now they know users are aware that how to rectify this we should not think that users are not aware because they are from the core accounting background they know what entry to be passed to fix the accounting figures but they are not aware how to fix how to rectify these points in sap they know the problem they know the solution they will only give you the problem they will only give you the solution right a user will raise a ticket for this or user will get into a call discussion with you for this incident or for this problem they will tell we have used incorrect gl account for passing an entry now we want to rectify this they will tell you we want to credit this amount from this account we want to debit this to this account is there any way we can do it now you are not supposed to simply tell okay go to reverse document reverse it it will be fixed you post once again that they are also aware having known this they came to you which means it is not to know the transaction code it is not to know how to pass this entry they are very well aware of it better than us but the point that they approach to us is to understand if there is any other workaround apart from reversing the entry right not every time every user wants to reverse the entry because it will create unnecessary complications number of records will get increased in your report and you will not understand why entries are reversing so they might ask you for any other option like is there any way that i can change the gl account from the posted document they will simply tell everything is correct in this document except this debit and credit they will tell you just to change this account number last one digit you make it zero exactly the same way they might tell you no no don't change anything only in the account number change last digit from two to zero my problem is solved but technically that is not possible you are going to explain them you are going to convince them that this is not possible sometimes users might have prior sap experience when i say prior sap experience user might have already worked on another company on sap as an end user or some users are already sap fico trained but could not get into sap fico job become an end user right your end users also will google the things when they get errors right we are not supposed to think it's only we who are googling the things when you are getting errors your end users will also do it 
sometimes not sometimes nowadays almost all the users everybody every user is a smart when they get any problem when you say that this is not possible no all these things they will google it they will come to know okay do this do this they'll read through it but they cannot do it only for the reason they are not authorized to certain transactions they can only access the data entry screen which they are assigned to that is the reason they will approach you but we should not be under an impression that user is not aware of anything whatever we tell is fine but never be under that impression everybody is smart no surprise user would have googled it but he is unable to find anything he approached you okay sometimes user only will tell i want to open this transaction code you also may sometimes listen to the t code for the first time from here he is getting know this t codes he is googling that we are not aware sometimes some users will cross verify whatever we are telling by googling they will also google how to do this how to do this same way you are googling your users your clients will also do it keep this point in your mind accordingly you have to act okay now you told your user that there is no way that you can change this particular field once the entry is posted you are going to explain them either you reclass the entry or repost the entry okay now they do not want to repost the entry if they want to repost they have to cancel this without cancelling if they repost it will become a duplicate so they have decided no we don't want to reverse this entry because the problem is there only on the one side wrong account was used let me use the right account here okay let me use the right account by offsetting to the wrong account they might have decided to pass this rectification entry or reclassification entry when they are going to pass this entry they are going to debit the correct account they are going to credit the wrong account with the wrong parameters if i click on save this if you look at the account balance your check outgoing account is supposed to show 10000 credit balance am i correct check outgoing account is supposed to show 10000 credit balance is this correct because 30000 debit balance in this is wrong this is posted incorrectly in this when you pass this rectification entry there will be a credit for 30000 debit 30000 credit 30000 will become zero only credit that credit 10000 will remain your account balance will become 10000 negative correct clear how and why this account balance is supposed to be 10000 after rectification entry next one if i go to the main account if i run this report here the balance is 8 lakh after passing the rectification entry this balance will become 8 lakh 30000 additional 30000 debit is going to hit this account changing the account balance from 8 lakh to 8 lakh 30000 now let me pass this entry i'll click on post now this entry has been posted let me refresh this account balance i'll go this currently in the hdfc main bank account 8 lakh amount is available let me come back one level and i'll execute once again the expectation is this account balance to become 8 lakh 30000 run this now did this become 8 lakh 30000 clear is the number correct now in the main account yes sir right now i'll go back now i'll run the outgoing account outgoing account is supposed to show credit balance of 10000 let's run this if you run this your outgoing balance is showing 10000 negative is this correct whatever the incorrect debit 30000 posted now this incorrect 30000 debit is reversed with 30000 credit so net impact for this 30000 debit has become zero the original account balance which is 10000 has come back to the account clear this is one example 
in which you are going to reclass the entry whenever you are passing the reclassification entries make sure you are aware of the financial impact in your respective gl accounts it's not completed if you pass the entry if you leave it you have to know the account balances before you need to know account balances after and ensure that the account balances are correct otherwise we will end up getting into unnecessary further complications further problems you have to backtrace perform reconciliations which entries are causing these differences okay this is one way where you are going to pass rectification entry or reclassification entry next one let us check in what other scenario we are going to pass this in case if i give incorrect amount if i give incorrect amount which means instead of passing the entry for 30000 i posted for 3000 instead of 30000 either i posted 3000 or i posted 3 lakhs can i pass a reclassification entry now no sir if i use wrong amount instead of 30000 if i used 30 3000 or 3 lakh it is not possible even though you can pass a reclassification entry for the differential amount but that entry is not going to make any sense that entry is not going to give any understanding or meaningful definition to the other person so such entries are not recommended so what you need to do if the amount is wrong strictly you have to reverse the entry and then repost with correct amount because in your subsequent transactions in your further reconciliations reports everywhere you are going to refer the original entry you will not understand why 3000 entries posted or why 3 lakh entries posted you know that we have done a single transaction only for 30000 but why there is an entry for 3000 or why there is an entry for 3 lakh or why there is an entry for 2700 or 270000 if you are adjusting the balance or differential amount it will create unnecessary confusions unnecessary confusions to everybody which will lead which will lead to inconsistency in your reporting you will not understand why these many entries are coming when we had only a single transaction so these kind of things are not entertained or these kind of things are not supported not recommended either by the user or by the consultant you should stop wherever you feel that no this is not the right approach you're not supposed to say i am a consultant anything that you want to post it is your call you are a consultant but you are a fico consultant you are supposed to know certain basic accounting things tomorrow if you tell the user that okay you can pass anything it's okay user will pass the entry later on there may be a query why this account balance is posting like this and the user might tell he may tell stating that no no i have checked with fico consultant he said it's okay to pass like this now who is in trouble as a fico consultant you are in trouble you may be questioned that why you recommended to pass entry like this now this entry may be reflected in some other report you do not know what reports they are using whether they are using only the standard reports or they are using any customized z reports if they are using any customized customized z report how we are treating how we are handling these kind of rectification or reversal entries at all these kind of points you have to keep in your mind before you suggest you recommend anything especially related to transactions or data entry if you are recommending if you are suggesting do like this check like this try like this after trying the way you approached or the way you proposed if something goes wrong you have to be the responsible because whatever you tell user will blindly do it he will assume that this is explained this is instructed by the consultant fico consultant which means it is correct user will believe you to that extent and they will do whatever you tell because user is also smart tomorrow something goes wrong he will take out your name no 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 i checked with sap team sap team told us to do like this if something is wrong with this this is in incorrect instructions given by the sap team we will check with it team again or sap team once again 
right so these kind of a complications will also come which will put a consultant in trouble getting my point we may see these things as very simple it's easy to pass a reclassification entry or a reversal entry but impact if you are not aware you are not supposed to recommend just like that because user is going to pass the entry or is going to perform something on the system based on your instruction if your instruction is not correct if you are not clear please do not recommend them tell them that you will check and get back try in your quality system or development system what they are actually planning to do what mistake they have committed if you have if you are able to reproduce the issue if you are able to perform what they want to do in the actual system only then you can recommend but otherwise unless you are confident unless you are sure please do not recommend straight away to the user or to the client right you are not supposed to do certain things which will put you in trouble later on especially these kind of areas here is where you have to be very very careful okay now next entry what i am going to pass i am going to pass one more entry but this time i am going to pass with incorrect information of profit center so what i am going to do now scenario is clear i want to pass another entry by assigning wrong cost profit center am i correct is the scenario clear what we are going to execute you want to pass one more entry but incorrect profit center am i clear or not now to do this what i need to ideally do i need to pass one more entry to execute any scenario no other option for me no other option for you you need to pass one more entry initially i recommend you to pass the entry manually because you will get to know how you are posting the entries but once you know that i know how to pass the entry don't waste time on this posting the data entry because our intention is not to become an end user so don't practice so many entries to be posted okay now you know what you want to achieve to execute your scenario you need one document with incorrect profit center am i correct for that any document is fine you can take any debit you can take any credit right because you are not posting this in the production system as an end user as a consultant you are only going to check the functionality testing whether this is going to work out according to the requirement or not for that any gl account can be used the only intention is on your profit center make note that you are going to use the correct document with incorrect profit center later on how you are going to edit or how you are going to rectify the profit center for that i need a document first for that i need a document i don't want to post like this instead what i will do i will copy the existing document i'll make another document instead of typing everything debit credit amount all these things to copy an existing document you will find an option called post with reference you'll see here post with reference click on this post with reference if you click this it is asking you to give the document number in short give a reference document number from where i have to copy the data give your original entry this is your original entry i'll give that this original entry copy here from the fiscal year 2023 do not take anything we don't use these ticks straight away after giving this press enter on the keyboard okay we don't use these things even in real time just click on tick okay it will give you the data as it is from the original document if you look at this certain things cannot be edited when i am copying the data i cannot edit company code i cannot edit currency i cannot edit posting key clear up if it is posted in dein company code in inr currency i have to post in the same company code in the same currency but i can change dates i can change document type period i can change reference header text i can change the debit gl account but i cannot change debit as credit because posting key is grayed out clear up i'll put this reclass 02 enter 
straight away it is coming like this but you can edit this by double clicking on the respective line item double click on first line item you will be able to edit the data 30,000 is here I'll put ray class 0 to to make it more clear I'll tell 20,000 profit center I'll give 2 okay I changed the amount there it is giving a pop-up that earlier document which we were posting that document got group currency with equivalent 30,000 INR now you changed INR from 30,000 to 20,000 group currency amount is not correct this three three seventy five dollar representing 30,000 INR but now we changed amount from 30,000 INR to 20,000 INR if I hit enter if I hit enter if I try to post it will accept the entry but the amount that it is showing as a dollar is incorrect which means when you are doing something if you get any message at the bottom do not blindly hit enter okay do not blindly hit enter that is because of these kind of reasons if I press enter if I change equity capital also 20,000 it is taking me to here it is telling check the amount in the other currencies it is telling us please check the amount in other currency it is highlighting this amount dollar still I ignore it there is a warning message calculated rate 53 deviates from the document header 80 so it's telling the exchange rate is exceeding by 33 percentage but this is a warning message I'll hit enter I'll go back this is another another problem where you'll have to pass a reclassification entry go back enter now I'll click on save okay now if you see this there is an error message what is this error message account for account determination 01001 slash triple zero chart of account DEGR is missing remember I told this account key triple zero somewhere this account key triple zero or this account key triple zero this account key determination error whenever you are getting even in your real environment or when you are practicing this is straight away related to document splitting related to what document splitting in document splitting why this error is going to come when your account is not becoming zero at a debit and credit level for profit center I am going to simulate general ledger for this entry go to document click on simulate general ledger this is giving this is called as dump or ABAP runtime error okay some people call it as a dump we are getting a dump we are receiving the dump dump means this one or some people call it as ABAP runtime error here you will see the name runtime error these kind of issues will come when there is something which is wrong in your posting or in your transaction which is not there in the backend programming whatever you are trying to do is not allowed according to the code that is written in the program so when you are trying to do something which is not allowed in the program system will terminate the session like this when you get these kind of messages you are going to approach the ABAP consultant they will read through this and they will understand why system is passing this runtime error they will tell you at this level system is expecting this but this is not available for the system to proceed further that is why it is giving runtime error I'll come back now let me show you what I've done just now to receive this what I did I went ahead with post with reference I have given the previous document fiscal year enter I changed this as two nothing else we've changed double clicked on first line item updated amount to 20,000 changed profit center for the first one to two 
amount i did not do anything i ignored the amount because we have to understand these problems also come back or go to next line item here also i'll put the same thing notice carefully here if you notice here this is my capital account for capital account what is the profit center i am using for capital account i am using profit center dell laptops right my credit is there on the laptop profit center now if i go to debit my debit is there on desktop profit center do we have same profit center on the debit and credit or these two are different profit centers Difference. These two are different profit center. Debit contains one profit center. Credit contains another profit center. If you look at the document, debit credit contains the same amount. If I look at the document, debit credit contains the same amount, which means at the document level, account balance is becoming zero. Here you will see the zero. But according to document splitting functionality or according to our reporting requirement we are going to pass an entry which should always match at profit center level profit center level debit credit must become zero profit center level for any account in a particular document debit credit must be zero if you look at this hdfc bank outgoing contains laptop profit center your share capital contains desktop profit center at the profit center level balance is not becoming zero in such scenarios when you try to post or when you try to simulate let me try to post this you are going to receive an error stating account determination whenever you find account determination remember this code or in short it triple zero this is related to zero balance splitting error this is related to zero balance splitting error whenever you have different debit profit center different credit profit center in short at profit center level if your amount is not becoming zero system will try to pass the missing line items in your account to make the profit center wise zero with profit center clearing account this profit center clearing account is part of configuration in document splitting if that setting is maintained system is not going to give this error message okay so in the next sessions we are going to add that configuration we will see these error messages again we will resolve the problem but now we know the problem because we have given wrong profit center point number one is this possible for us to give incorrect profit center on the debit side and on the credit side yes sir point number one is this possible Is this allowing me to use different profit center on the debit, different on the credit, or it is stopping me? It is stopping, sir. It is stopping, which means point number one, this is not allowed. This is allowed on a condition if you have maintained a zero balance clearing account. If you define the configuration, zero balance clearing account, system will allow you to pass the entry by debiting to one profit center, crediting to another profit center. Currently, how many line items we have on the simulation? Two line items. Two line items. If when system allows you to pass this entry, debit one profit center, credit another profit center, this is possible only when you maintain zero balance clearing account. In such a scenario, if the same entry when you simulate, two line items will become four line items. Right? For this bank account, for this twenty thousand. debit profit center is there but credit there is no profit center to make it zero system will add a credit to the same profit center to make account balance zero similarly for the second one which is your credit for this credit at 20000 there is no corresponding debit at 20000 at this profit center it is going to add another 20000 on the same document which will make the account balance zero at profit center level at that situation you will be able to pass debit to one profit center credit to another profit center 
okay in such a scenario rectifying this is again a different thing we keep on writing the different different scenarios we will get different different situations different different scenarios to be executed now in this scenario i am not supposed to pass debit to a different profit center credit to a different profit center instead what i will do now i am going to put same profit center everywhere i'll change the amount sorry this is 2 now let me simulate let me do a general ledger simulation i have changed profit center to be the same for both if i do the general ledger simulation this is what i am getting now let's choose our layout okay now here what you are able to see your hdfc bank account is debited for 20000 capital account is credited for 20000 assuming this entry is not for 20000 this entry is only for 2000 let's assume this entry is only for 2000 but there is a typo error while passing the entry user had pressed one more zero additionally purposefully or accidentally another zero has been added the amount has become more let me pass this entry i'll post this entry this entry is posted this is the document number 101 all zeros 4 let's display this document from the document on the same screen click on display what is the problem here instead of posting 2000 we posted it 20000 correct now is it possible to rectify this entry by additional journal entry instead of 2000 we posted 20000 how much excess we posted 18000 18000 thousand. 18, excess posted now i can pass one more entry for the 18000 now in hdfc bank account what is happening there is excess 18000 which means additional 18000 is there on the debit side to reduce it i am going to credit hdfc bank account for 18000 is this correct if i do it my account balance will get updated properly or not yes sir right if i credit 18000 in the hdfc bank my account balance will become 2000 20000 in debit minus 18000 credit 2000 and net amount will remain similarly for the capital account I have twenty thousand credit, but it is supposed to be two thousand credit. What I am going to do, since it is credit, I am going to pass a debit. I will pass eighteen thousand debit to the capital account, so that my capital amount also becomes two thousand. But when I do it, this is not recommended. Am I correct? This is not recommended because. you are not going to understand why two entries are posted whether the first one to be considered or the second one to be considered because ideally you are supposed to consider both documents together but how will somebody understand that because your document shows this is not a reversal reversal document these kind of confusions or situations are quite common when you are working in real environment when you are working with users clients they might be coming to you asking i have passed an entry like this please tell me how do i fix this now according to you according to the user you are a fico consultant you are expert on all these areas and, and they expect you to give a solution to solve the problem if you are telling no 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 you can reverse it and then post once again they are also aware of it but still they approached you expecting you will give some other option or some other alternative solution to avoid the reversal or any other points if there is no option you are going to tell the same thing but if there is any other alternative you have to suppose support or suggest now in this i did another mistake mistake number 1 i posted wrong entry we assumed for this wrong entry we are not supposed to reclass we have to reverse it and then repost it let's assume i have posted this entry with reference for 20000 debit credit it is 20000 only 
but I got a pop-up message asking me to update group currency. We got a pop-up message updating, asking us to update the group currency, but I ignored that message. I proceeded further. I posted the entry. Now the amount is 20,000. If I add in this amount in local currency too, from this change layout, Let's check where is the amount in. Is this the amount? Let's check. Local currency to. General ledger amount. LC2 amount, not freely definable currency. This is your local currency too, not this. I'll bring this. Now 20,000 INR is showing what US dollar? 375. $20,000 is showing as $375. Now let's check. Ideally, this $20,000, sorry, 20,000 INR is supposed to be how much? To check the exchange rate, Transaction code is EWCT. Go to EWCT. Pass the exchange rate INR to dollar. We posted entry with current date. INR that we have taken is 20,000. For 20,000 INR, it is supposed to be $250. Correct? Huh? For 20,000 INR, this is supposed to be $250. But how much dollar is posted? 375 is this correct or wrong wrong sir this is wrong right in the system exchange rate is correct in the system exchange rate is correct now you are going to ask if you get this kind of an error or a query ticket from your user stating incorrect exchange rate is captured your user or your client somebody will send an email with this screenshot highlighting this 20,000 INR system is con considered as 350 or 375 dollar, which is wrong. And you are going to check how this entry got posted. Did somebody manually put this 375? No. Did we put 375 manually or it came automatically? Automatically it came. Automatically. Right. I did not put anywhere 375. But the way I posted, I posted by referring an existing transaction. I just changed my local currency from 30,000 INR to 20,000 we've updated. But after updating, system had given a message at the bottom, change your group currency. And it had given a warning message stating group currency is deviating by 33%. Correct? Huh? It had given a warning message. It had given an information. But both we ignored. This is the normal behavior of everyone even i will do the same thing you will also do the same thing because what is fixed in our mind is when you get a warning message press enter warning disappears now we pressed enter warning disappeared now it has created a problem for us correct huh? now is this creating a problem or not is the account balance correct now or there is a problem Is the account balance correct with this or your account balance will be incorrect? It is incorrect, sir. Your account balance is incorrect only in group currency, not in local currency. Local currency 20,000 is perfect, fine. But it is supposed to be $250, but it is showing $375. And this is a serious problem because if somebody is who is looking at this entry, they will straight away question how come 20,000 INR is equivalent to $375. This is something which we cannot justify. Can we justify? If it is one, two dollars here and there, you can tell no, we bought, we got it at a different exchange rate. But this is somewhere far, which you cannot, which is beyond your explanation. The only option is 
to pass a reversal entry now for these kind of things also you cannot pass the reversal entry by another additional entry you can rectify this okay now in this entry if you look at this where is the problem amount is the problem yes sir yes but which amount all the amounts are problem or only a particular currency amount is a problem particular currency amount group currency oh, group. Only group currency is the problem. Now, what I am going to do, I have already passed this entry. I will show you only with one account rectification. I mean, the report. Let me open capital account. I will execute. Currently, capital account. Local currency, which is INR, is eight lakh fifty thousand, which is correct. Because earlier we had eight lakh thirty, now twenty thousand is added. Eight lakh fifty thousand is correct. Now, if I wanted to see what is my capital amount in dollars, what is my capital amount in dollars? I am going to look at change display currency. I'll pick group currency dollar. I'll say okay. Eight lakh fifty thousand is showing ten thousand seven fifty. But ideally, it is supposed to be how much? How much is excess posted? One hundred twenty-five points. One twenty-five is excess posted. So ten seven fifty minus one twenty-five. It will be your how much? Ten thousand six twenty-five. Yes, sir. So it is supposed to be ten thousand six twenty five in dollar, and it is supposed to be same number in INR. Now you need to rectify only a particular currency in a transaction, correcta? You don't want to affect any other currency, but you want to rectify only one particular currency. You need to pass an entry without changing this number, but by changing this number. Am I correct? Now, if I click on display currency, this document contains how many currencies now? Three currencies. This document contains three currencies, but how many currencies are we supposed to change? Only one. Only, Only one. one. What currency. is that currency? Group currency Group. is what you have to change. You are not supposed to touch document currency number because that is correct. You are not going to touch local currency because that is correct. You are going to touch only group currency, which is incorrect. Your group currency is incorrect, showing excess balance or less balance. Excess balance, right? Your group currency is showing one twenty-five dollars more. We have to reduce one twenty-five dollars from this group currency. Am I correct? Correct. Yes, sir. So what I am going to do now? I am going to pass an entry. I'll show you two ways for passing this entry. This is another incident ticket that you can explain in your interviews. Rectifying a posted document only in a selected currency. I'll use the same T code for step dash zero two. Intention is only to change this currency. Ignore what dates I am taking, what account I am taking. Just ignore it. Focus only on the amount where we are trying to change, not on the focus. Don't see what document type, what date. What account I am giving? Ignore it. To come to that stage, no other option. We have to fill up this inf fill up this data. For that, you can take anything, but you need to keep in your mind that your focus is not on this. Your focus is on a main element, which is changing of document and your group currency. Pay attention only on the amounts. How we are changing it? I'll take any one account. If I put zero here, because INR is not supposed to be changed, correct? INR figure is correct, so I'm not going to change INR. For that, I'll have to put zero. If I put zero here, it is telling amount is zero. Line item will be ignored. 
correct if i put 0 it will not accept what if i put 0 0.01 is this accepting yes sir if i put 0 0.01 it is accepting here you'll have to put 0 0.01 you have to go to more data on the more data group currency you can put if it is 125 xs you have to put 125 here but when you press enter you are going to get a message at the bottom stating the amount is exceeding yes we are aware of it but by doing this you are able to deduct 125 from this which will become 250 but you are deducting 0 0.01 from here with this entry correct this is yes. fixed 125 agree yes but here it is adding or deducting 0 0.01 now this 20000 either will become 20000.01 or 19999.99 am i correct again is this correct or wrong wrong again this is wrong which means rectification for these kind of a scenarios this is not the right approach you will have to use a transaction called FBB1. What is the T code? FBB1. FBB1. In short, FBB1. Open this. Posting key. I'll take 40 HDFC main account. 40 HDFC main account. Here I'll put 0. Here also I will put 0. Is this accepting 0 or not? Is this taking 0? Yes, no? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. It is taking 0. Now, from the debit side, we have to reduce it. So I should have put a credit here. I'll cancel. I have to credit this because we have to reduce 125 from this account. So for reducing, we'll have to put credit. This account, credit, this is INR, 0, 0, what is the profit center? DEIN02. Put some dot, enter group currency if group currency is not coming you'll have to click on more data when you click on more data group currency is visible 125 dollars next posting key is 40 40 i'm going to use capital account zero zero i'll put dot here also 125 dollars I'll simulate this entry. Now, this is showing debit zero, credit zero. If I click on this display currency, currently this is showing document currency. This document is posted in INR. In INR, this entry is going to have nil impact, zero, zero. If I switch to local currency, my local currency is also having zero, nil impact. Now, if I switch to group currency, my group currency contains a value. HDFC outgoing account is reduced by 125 and your equity share capital is increased by 125,000. So, if this is 8,50,000 credit, now this is having a debit balance. 8,25,000 one minute is this entry correct okay I have to change currency to dollar so this is 10,750 from 10,750 credit balance system is going to add a debit balance of 125 so this debit minus credit the net amount will be 10,625 after posting the entry this should become 10,625 and your local currency sorry
your local currency should remain 850000 correct only dollar should get updated or line item report also let us check so the two currencies we can see in one go here current balance is 850000 on the local currency 10750 on the dollar now i don't want to show any difference in the local currency because it is correct 8 lakhs should remain exactly 8 lakhs only 10750 should become 10625 is that what our requirement yes sir. right now i'll come back to this entry let me post i'll save so I think we have left the profit center here for the previous we have given okay for previous we have yes. given go back and now let me post this entry entry has been posted let me come to the report the expectation is 850000 should remain as it is unchanged 10750 should become 10625 let's go to the report on the top click on list you get a drop down click on refresh okay now you see the refreshed numbers 850000 became 850000 only but 10750 has become 10625 if you see this additional entry that you posted contains zero in document currency zero in local currency but amount in group currency right using this t code fbb1 you can pass amount only in this currency or only in this currency or only in this currency out of multiple currencies that you have you can hit only one currency by using fbb1 clear Okay, all right then practice this once again, whatever the rectification entries that we are passing, we have passed today, try to pass some rectification entries, only the reclass we have done today, not reversal, reversal either I will show in the evening or in the next session. Let me stop this.